Hi guys, good day. This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today is all about circular permutation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now we do have uh, six circles here. So let's try to analyze this one. The first three circles. So we have ABC, another circle ABC and ABC. In this first three circle class, I rotate the position into clockwise. Okay. A, B, C. I rotate this one into clockwise. So we have A, B, C. And this one, A, B, C. So look at the first circle class. We have B is on the right side of A. And C is on the left side of A. On the second circle, okay, I just rotate this one into clockwise. B is still on the right side of A. And C is on the left side of A. Last circle, same scenario with this one. B is on the right side of A. And C is on the left side of B is on the right side of A and C is on the left side of A. Now, if you try to analyze this one, this three circles here, okay, this three circles here counted as one. This is just the same. Okay? These three circles here are counted as one. Now you will be asking, sir, why is it counted as one? Because if you try to analyze this one, the positions are different. So we have A, B, C. Okay, we rotate this one into into clockwise. We have A, B, C, A, B, C. The positions are different, but the arrangement are just the same. What do you mean by that, sir? The arrangement. B is still on the right side of A, and C is still on the left side of A. We just rotate this one into, okay, we just rotate this one into clockwise. The positions are changed, but the arrangement are just the same. That's why we count this we count these three circles just as one. We count this one as one. Okay? So the best answer for that, if the teacher will ask you, why is it counted as one? It's because the positions are changed, but the arrangement are just the same. Okay? B is still on the right side of A and C is still on the left side of A. So we have another circle, another three circles. So we have <coughs> Excuse me, we have A, B, C, uh, A, B, C, A, B, C. Now, I rotate this one into counterclockwise. So, I rotate this one into counterclockwise. Class, do not, do not be confused with clockwise and counterclockwise. If you want to know about clockwise, just look at the clock, class. Look at the clock. That's clockwise. Okay, the rotation of the clock is just it's like this. So, that's clockwise. This time, I have three circles and we rotate this one into counterclockwise. Okay, counterclockwise. So counterclockwise, it's like that. So we have A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So same thing. B is on the, this time, B is on the left side of A and A, C is on the right side of A. So we, ro we just rotate this one into counterclockwise and these three circles here are just counted as one. Alright, so this is counted as one. Same answer. So why is that? It's because we change the arrangement, but the positions... Oh, we change the position, sorry. We change the position, but the arrangement are just the same. Alright, so the... So if the teacher will ask you in how many ways you can arrange three people on a table, so your answer is just two. Two ways that you can arrange three people on a table. So the formula in getting the perm the circular permutation, this is the formula. So let me erase this one. I hope you understand this one, class. So the formula in getting the the permutation of a circular uh, circular permutation, th this is just basic, class. The formula is P equals N minus 1 factorial. That's it. That's the formula. N minus 1 factorial. So I hope you already know the factorial. If you don't know about factorial, please click the link. On the description below on how to solve factorial this is just very basic for the factorial all right so to formally understand this one this is the formula n minus one factor to formally understand this one let's have an examples all right let's try first example all right so let's try first example so okay let me just All right, so we have first example. All right, so first example. 
in how many ways okay, in how many ways can four people be seated around a circular table by the way class a while ago so three people so let's let's try to answer that one a while, a while ago uh, a while ago class the three people so we have p equals n minus one and our answer a while ago is just two ways so a while ago let's try to answer that so n there is the number of people that we arrange so we have three people a while ago please do not forget three people so we have three minus one factorial so we have three minus one that's two factorial and two factorial class it means two times one and two times one is two so that's why a while ago our answer is just two because of this formula so let's try to answer this one in how many ways can four people be seated on a circular table so p equals n minus one factorial so our n class is the number of people or the total number of samples that we try to get the permutation so we have four people so n is four so this is four minus one factorial this is three factorial and three factorial this is equivalent to three times two times one and 3 times 2 times 1, that's 3 times 2 is 6, times 1 is 6. So our answer is, permutation is equals to 6 ways. That's it. Very easy, right? 6 ways. Let's try another example. Alright, in how many ways can we, can... 10 different colored to toy horses be arranged in a merry-go-round. So, 10 different colored toy horses be arranged in merry-go-round. So, so, we have P equals N minus 1 factorial. So, our N class is um, 10. So, we have 10, sam 10 samples. So, 10. So, this is 10 minus 1 factorial. So, this is 9 factorial. 9 factorial is equivalent to... So, 9 factorial, that is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We just use the calculator class so that we can answer this one. So, 9 factorial, so 9 factorial, that's 9. Then, shift, then press this one above the x raised to the power of uh, negative 1. So, we have 9 factorial, that is equivalent to... 362,880 ways. Alright, so uh, that would be great for the teacher if if he or she allows you to use the calculator because it's very hard for us class to multiply this one. 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. It will take time. So just use the calculator. So that would be 9 then shift this one. 9, press 9, then shift, then this one, x raised to the power of negative 1, and you have the answer. Alright, now what if the example is you are dealing with keys, okay? It's not a table, you are dealing with keys or necklace. If you're dealing with that, there's another formula for that, okay? Different formula. It's because uh, it's not the same with a table that you can... Uh, arrange this one like if you uh, same with it it's not it's, it's not the same with the table that you can just rotate it clockwise and counterclockwise with key and rings key rings or necklace so that's uh, that's another thing we do have another formula for that okay once again just do not forget if you are dealing with tables circle um with a table so the formula is n minus one but if you're dealing with necklace okay key rings so that would be another formula. So do not, just do not be worried. The formula is so p equals n minus one factorial just divide it by two. Okay. So you will be asking, sir, when can we use this formula? Okay. When can we use this formula if you're dealing with key rings, diamonds, uh, necklace, example like that? So, but if you're dealing with a round table, okay. So, just very easy, n minus 1 factorial. But if you're dealing with key rings, so we have another example. In how many ways can 10 keys be arranged on a key ring? So, we have the word there, key ring. So, this is the formula, n minus 1 factorial 
divided by 2. So our our n is 10 keys. So we have 10 keys be arranged on a key ring. So n is 10. So 10 minus 1 factorial over 2. So this is 10 minus 1. That's 9 factorial over 2. So we have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2. So we have 9 factorial. So 9 factorial equals. So same thing a while ago. 362,880. We divide it by 2. So our answer is 100, 181,440 ways. Alright? So that's it. Let's try last example for this one. So what if the teacher will ask you to arrange this one, your necklace. So once again, if this is necklace, key, key rings, or diamond, or bracelet, so that will be the, the different thing class. So that's another formula. But if it's a round table, very easy, n minus 1. But this time, since we're dealing with necklace, so the formula is P equals N minus 1 factorial divided by 2. So our N is 6, 6 diamonds. So this is 6 minus 1 factorial divided by 2. So this is 5, 6 minus 1, that's 5 factorial divided by 2. So we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2. So let's just use the calculator. 5 shift this one. 5 factorial is 120 divided by 2. 60. So we have 60 ways. Alright. So that's it class. That's how you solve for permutations. Very easy, right? So if you have your calculator, this is much uh, so easy for you. Okay? So if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Do not forget to share it to your classmates. And you have a great day. I hope you learned something new today. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now. Goodbye.